Sagittarius, hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading starting this new week of July the 1st up until July the 8th. Now, if you would like to watch the link to the extended, I do offer now 50% off all extended readings and you can find the link to the extended down in the description box below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your dominant energy. And you are starting with the dominant energy of the drumroll. You have your fertility, okay? And it's got the number three on it. You know, this is an image here of a woman, okay? And as you, if you can see her hair there, she's kind of growing a tree, right? Her hair is kind of like growing leaves. It's like a tree. So fertility, that is a representation of something that is fertile and that is growing, it's kind of like growth potential. This is directly connected to the Empress. This is kind of like getting the Empress energy. As you know, fertility, the Empress, it's a very feminine energy here. So this is all about you tuning in, tapping into your feminine energy, your femininity, whether you are male or female, it doesn't matter. We all possess both feminine and masculine energy. What this means for you is, Tune into the energies of being kind, generous, being understanding, patient, feminine energy, right? It's kind of like that energy of not overthinking things, but more so tuning into your intuition, letting your intuition guide your way forward and learning how to receive because a feminine energy is a receiver. She knows how to attract situations into her life vibrationally, intuitively, instead of being in the masculine energy by taking action, 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 right? Thinking, thinking, logic, logic, mind, the mind always taking over. If you've been too much in your masculine energy, it's a reminder to, for this time, tune into your feminine energy because that's what's going to bring in good things. Be kinder, be more gentle, softer, okay, more caring, more understanding, more patient with either a person around you, a situation. This reading could be related to either your love life, career, family. It could be related to finances, friends, children, right? Uh, coworkers, bosses, whoever, whatever this is, you take it as it resonates. It could be any area of your life because we're going to be tuning into different areas of your life. So like, let's say, for example, in one area of your life, you could say, um, oh, well, that's going on in my love life. Oh, and that's going on in my career. Oh, in this other position that's going on in my personal life or in my finances, or the whole reading could just be related to one or two or whatever specific areas of your life. But you take the reading however it resonates for you. But like I said, something here that you've been investing your time in on your energy, it's going to bear fruit. It's going to grow. It's going to blossom. It's going to, it has potential and more than potential. That means that it's already growing. You're going to start seeing signs of, you know, uh, of it growing. Kind of like here, this woman, you can see that that tree is already growing those leaves. Okay. Okay, so there's something here related to something, uh, you know, that in order for this situation to grow, however, you have to be more gentle towards it, more caring, more understanding. Even if right now your masculine energy side right of you is like, oh my God, I'm so sick and tired of being patient and caring and understanding, right? I've been that already and it doesn't work right now. It will. Okay, it's what's necessary. Even if people around you are giving you a headache, even if you want to just blurt something out and be very direct, try to temper your feelings and temper your mind and your emotions and your words because this is going to require uh, for you to, like I said, be gentle, caring, and understanding. Okay, so. Um, also for some of you guys, your heart chakra is about to open up. Okay. This is all about you opening up your heart, opening up your heart chakra, trying to see the situation from a different light. Like, okay, all right, let me just count to 10. Okay. If you're dealing with a very stressful situation, count to 10, take a deep breath and just say to yourself, okay, how can I 
you know, be gentle? What would God do in this situation? Like people say, what would Jesus do, right, in this situation? Kind of like that, right? What would the feminine energy do? You can ask yourself that question. In this situation, what would the feminine energy do versus the masculine? And tune into that feminine energy. For others, you will be attracting a very feminine energy towards you. This is also an energy who might be very caring, very understanding towards you, this person, and you can grow something together, whether it's a business, a career, a relationship, a friendship, right? Whatever this is, that person might be very kind and gentle, caring in their feminine energy towards you as well, okay? Now, I'm also picking up on the energy where there is something related to the number three, right? This has a number three on it right on top. And so if you see the number 333, 303, or three o'clock, that is a representation of communication. The way that you communicate should come across as gentle, kind, okay, caring. Opening up the lines of communication in this way is going to help you. This is also about creativity. You opening up to doing things differently, your creative nature, because creativity is a lot of times related to feminine energy. The feminine energy rules creativity, right? For others, this could be related to you beautifying yourself, your, your environment, right? That energy of the feminine energy that beautifies things, environments, themselves, maybe you're taking care of your looks, your physique, or you're wanting to renovate your home, your environment, you're wanting to clean things up a little bit, you know, that kind of vibe. So that is all the energies here that I'm picking up for you. Let me know in the comments below how this is related to you, your situation. How do you resonate with uh, with this energy? Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, tune into the tarot and I will be taking a look at your past, present and future positions, who and what is coming towards you, what is in your opportunity as well as what is in your challenge position and how to overcome that challenge. Now let me know in the comments below how this reading resonates for you, uh, which area of your life this is all pertaining to. Again, is it your love life, your career, finances, family, whatever area you know, again, like I said, one area could be related to finances, career, and then another area could be related to your family, to your friends, you know, or just one particular area. Now, also, I'm encouraging you guys to please comment down below because a few days ago, I did uh, announce that I had been feeling very discouraged by posting here on YouTube these videos because I had seen a significant drop in views and that was discouraging me. I also was not seeing any uh, likes um, very, very little comments. And I was just feeling very discouraged. Like maybe I should not be posting on this YouTube platform. Perhaps maybe I should close this channel down and focus in on another platform. But ever since I announced that, I, uh, I really appreciate all of you guys who have come through in the comments below messaging me those beautiful encouraging messages uh, letting me know that you do enjoy my readings that they do resonate for you that they have helped you in some kind of way because my mission here is to help you in some kind of way i'm hoping that by doing what i love by doing what comes very easy to me this i find very fun very easy okay uh, i feel very aligned with this energy i want to make a difference in your life and i feel that if i'm not making a difference in in your life, then why am I even on this platform, right? But again, you guys have encouraged me to stay on the platform. I've received a lot of beautiful messages uh, letting me know that you guys do feel like this brings value to your life. And so I encourage you to please comment down below, okay? Uh, even if it's just an emoji letting me know that you enjoyed the reading or a brief message, a brief comment, because it also helps the algorithm. A lot of people have been telling me that you're not seeing my videos. And that's because YouTube, a lot of people have been saying that YouTube has unsubscribed them involuntarily from my channel. So those of you guys who have subscribed, thank you. But please, I'm asking if you guys can please check. Did YouTube unsubscribe you involuntarily? And if so, please resubscribe to the channel. 
uh, and click that notification bell so that you are notified each and every time that I post on the channel. I really appreciate, again, you liking the video, subscribing to the channel, commenting down below, which really, really helps me and the YouTube algorithm so that my videos are shown more to other people, to you, because if you don't like the video, if you don't subscribe, and if you don't comment, then the YouTube al algorithm is not showing my videos to people and or to even subscribers so i highly encourage you to do that thank you all so much for your positive feedback for your uh, loyalty and support and i'm sorry that i'm taking some time away from your reading now let's jump right in all right so you could be dealing with the sign of libra it could be taurus energy i also see the sign of sagittarius um, could be leo energy pisces Whatever sign this is, it could be any other sign of the zodiac. I see here the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So there's this energy where either you want to lash out, you want to speak up, you want to say something that's just been on your mind, but your dominant energy is telling you, hold on a bit, okay? Just kind of hold on a bit, you know, don't lash out. You might have pent up emotions, pent up you know, thoughts that you're just wanting to release, right? Somebody here might have gotten triggered uh, or is getting triggered. If you already lashed out, then okay, it's fine. But try to really temper your feelings and your emotions because somebody here, it could be somebody around you, perhaps somebody here towards you, you know, they feel like they've have a lot of pent up energy, pent up emotions, and somebody here is about to just lash out. There's a lot of, you know, uh, fast forward moving communication energy, whether communication is going to come in very quickly out of nowhere. Okay. Or whether you're the one who's like, I just got to say this, right? As soon as I say it, I feel relieved. Again, try to temper yourself. Let me know in the comments below what that energy is all about. We will also clarify. But also here in your challenge position, you have here the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Three of Wands. So in your challenge position, I do see here that for some, there's a lack of, you know, enthusiasm, okay? Or you're dealing with a person here who is not really motivated, they're not inspired, and you're like, oh my God, what do I have to tell this person? What do I have to do in order for them to, you know, um, keep moving forward? See that there is a light, right? That kind of thing. Or it could just be you, the fact that you're feeling uninspired, unmotivated, you know, uh, being in a relationship, or you're kind of feeling like this relationship situation, if this is not a relationship, a love relationship, it could be a career or a job or a family dynamic or a friendship that you're like, there's something off about this. You're not really feeling it. You're not feeling passionate about it. Okay. And even though it's difficult for you to take a step back, that's what's being indicated. It's going to be a little bit challenging for you to take a step back. Okay. But it's time for you to take a step back to see how this person is going to handle things without your influence over them, without your influence over over the situation because I feel here that for a lot of you guys, you've been helping somebody or you've been putting in a lot of work at work or in a project, in a career, in a environment, dynamic relationship, right? Uh, whether this is finances, you know, family, love, whatever this is, friendship. But I see here that in order for you to see those changes happen, that person, that situation needs to change on their own. Okay, that's where this energy comes in, right? Fertility, that feminine energy that just trusts and has faith and believes that something good is going to come out of it. I see the potential of growth there, okay, because fertility is there. But I feel that right now you're either feeling tired, unmotivated, okay, uninspired, that kind of thing. For others of you guys, you're dealing with a person or personality type that makes promises. They have all these ideas. Oh, we're going to do this and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and this and that, but they end up not doing anything. And that's where there's a disconnect happening, whether you feel emotionally disconnected from a person, from a place, from a situation, okay, um, that you felt had more, you know, potential. For others of you, there's an energy here where you're the one who keeps like saying, okay, you know what? I'm going to get it together and I'm going to start committing to the situation and I'm going to do it. I'm going to just get it done. 
And then something happens and you're like, oh God, you know what? I changed my mind, right? So somebody here who keeps kind of, it's like a very in and out behavior. One moment they're in, the next moment they're out, right? And it's a very kind of draining energy, whether you're draining yourself or a person, a situation around you is draining you, okay? By behaving this way. For others, you are dealing with a player. There's a player energy here who just likes things whenever they're fun, whenever, you know, it's very superficial, but whenever things start to get deeper, okay, and more serious, somebody backs away. Whether it's you, you're like, oh, I don't know, I'm getting cold feet, this is becoming a little bit too serious for my liking, or somebody around you, okay? Again, this could be career-related, love, family, whatever this is. Let me know in the comments below how this is related to you, your situation, and which area of your life this is pertaining to. In the recent past, I do see here uh, the King of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles. So in the recent past, there was some kind of an energy there where one person was emotionally detached from the situation, okay? And I feel that both of you guys were closed off. It's almost as if you two were mirroring each other, but in a different way. So I see one person was focused on money, career, right, stability, while the other one was more focused on, okay, let's make smart decisions. Let's do things, you know, um, in a very wise kind of way, right? A very kind of uh, intelligent, methodical person, while the other one was more focused on either money, stabilizing something. But still, I feel that both of you were closed off. You guys weren't really opening up to each other. This could have been a, a relationship. This could have been a career, a business, a family member, a friend, okay, that kind of thing. I see that both you and this person were not... Um, taking that step forward, right? But you guys were telling each other, well, I am trying. Oh, no, but I'm trying, right? It, it was kind of like that energy where you guys were mirroring each other, okay? But neither you or that energy or that person or the situation were giving it your all. You guys were not opening up. I see here that for some, you're not, you weren't opening up your heart, okay? Even though, yeah, there was a sense of stability, there was a sense of, okay, we communicate well, the communication is there, right? The money is flowing. But when it comes to creating depth in this situation, whether it's career-related, family-related, love, I feel that it, it was lacking. There was something here that lacked depth because both of you guys were sitting in your comfort zone. It's kind of like both you and them were waiting for one another to take that first step, you know, and neither of you were doing it. I see here that also for others, it was very difficult for you and this person to step outside of your comfort zone, to think outside the box because you were like, nope, this is already stable enough, right? And they were like, nope, this is already stable enough. Why should we move it? Why should we change, you know, directions? And so neither you or them were willing to, you know, um, open up in some kind of way, either open up your mind, open up your ideas, open up, you know, investing in something, uh, taking a leap of faith into something, or opening up emotionally. Let me know in the comments below what this is all about, how this is related to you, your situation, how does this resonate for you, and which area of your life this is all about. Now, in your um, present energies, currently speaking, you have here the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Moon. So right now, I do see here that you're hard at work. You're putting in the work. You're putting in the effort. You're very focused, okay? You are focused either on making money. You want to be independent. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my career. I'm going to focus on my Pentacles. I need to be independent. I want to make my money. I want my business to grow, whatever that is, okay? For others, if this is a relationship, Relationship, you're putting in all the work and the effort into a relationship, into a person, that kind of thing. But there's still something that is hidden. There's still something here that is not known. For some, you are the one who has not yet revealed something. There's some kind of information here that either you're the one who is keeping it to yourself because you know that, you know, um, saying something, it's like too soon. You're like, it's too soon for me to say something. It's too soon for me to reveal this. For others, it's that person, right? They're kind of holding holding on to some kind of information, there's still something hidden in the background. There's still something that is not clear, okay? Now, I'm also seeing here that for others of you, you are dealing with a person, a personality type, okay, where you keep putting in the work and the effort into something, but this person is all about materialism, money, you know, physical items, 
Again, there's nothing wrong with that. But I feel that for some of you guys, you're thinking to yourself, okay, well, I'm putting in all this work and all this effort and this person is just focused on themselves, right? It's kind of like you might be thinking they're a little bit selfish. If this is vice versa, this is what they're thinking of you. Like they're putting in all the work, the effort, and you're the one who's just kind of like having fun. Okay, I'm enjoying the fruits of my labor. But there's still something that hasn't been yet talked about, exposed, okay? For some, one person here has been dealing with a lot of emotions. Even though they're hard at work, ask yourself, are you just so hard going hard at work because you're ignoring some emotion here that you need to pay attention to? Because for some of you guys, that's the case. For others of you, there's something here related to a person, a personality type, okay, who is all about stability, money. Uh, again, there's nothing wrong with that. Or this person is trying to stabilize themselves financially before this person can feel at ease in their emotions, okay? Whether this is you or somebody around you. Let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you, what this is all about. Now, in the near future, you have here the Ten of Pentacles, the Strength, and the Magician. So in the near future, you're going to succeed. If right now you're hard at work, you're putting in the work, you're putting in the effort, the money is going to come in. You're going to be abundant, okay? There's abundance coming in, pentacles coming in, opportunities for you to make more money. You're about to manifest all that good stuff. In the near future, you're going to have to really be strong. Stay strong, stay spiritually strong, because you're going to have to step into that role of the magician. This situation is not going to change by you just you know, leaving it to the universe. No, this is telling you, you need to step into that role power of the magician and manifest this, take action, put in the work, put in the effort, right? Don't give up on this because I see here that it's going to bloom and blossom. It's fertile energy. Remember, you have fertility here, right? A lot of money coming in, pentacles. And for others of you guys, it's a relationship, a marriage, something here that can turn into a marriage, into a stable connection, into a stable business, into a stable partnership, a stable family situation, okay? But again, look at this one, this strength card, okay? This strength card has two energies in it. It's got a human being, a woman, and it's got a lion, right? And these two energies are very different from each other, which means that you are going to have to learn how to manifest something with somebody or an environment around you that is very different to you. The way that you do things, the way that you are, the what you like is very different to what they like, right? This person might be from a different background, a different culture, or this project that you're working on, this idea might be something that is very different to what you are used to, okay? So this is gonna, you know, this is indicating in order for you, okay, to see that manifestation come in, you have to learn gentle strength because this strength card isn't aggressive strength. It's not like that, you know, um, super masculine strength. No, it's gentleness. It's learning how to communicate in a gentle way in order for this person to either not get triggered or you and this person to start understanding each other. Because look at that woman. She goes into the jungle and she comes across a lion. Most people, if you go into the jungle and come across a lion for the first time, you would be either super scared, run away, or the lion would come after you or both, right? But this woman has such powerful energy. She's able to step into her power. She knows the power that she holds over the lion, over her environment, right? Because she knows herself. That's the strength that I'm talking about. When a person is so confident in their strength, there is no need for people to be aggressive, per, for people to, you know, um, react. You just are so, it's like that confident, silent strength, right? And so that's what's going to serve you in your favor. Either you're going to be dealing with a person here, okay, that's very different to you. This person might be, you know, uh, triggered very easily. But if you know your worth, your power of influence, you are going to be able to influence this person, this situation, this environment to work in your direction. Okay, that's the power that you hold, you will hold in the near future. Let me know in the comments below what that is all about for you. 
Who and what is coming towards you in your opportunity? Wow. I mean, this is such a beautiful reading. You have the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, the hangman and the tower. Okay. So the tower, don't get scared. Don't panic. That tower moment there, it represents some kind of shocking news, shocking revelation, something that just all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, it feels like the rug has suddenly been pulled from underneath your feet. And you're like, whoa, what is happening here? How did this just happen? Right. But don't worry because the universe is actually trying to help you in a playful way, right? You're like, oh, that's not playful. That's not funny. Okay. Well, maybe not to you, but a lot of times I see the universe as playing, you know, tricks on us, right? Like for fun. Um, and I do see here that this tower moment is going to be some kind of shocking new shocking revelation that initially you're going to say, oh my God, why is this happening? I didn't, you know, all of a sudden it's going to come out of nowhere. Not really. The universe is saying, no, I have shown you red flags. I have shown you signs, signals in order for you to make these changes and you're not making them. Why are you not making them? Now the universe is stepping in and, you know, kind of showing this to you in a way where it's going to be right in front of your face, right? You're going to have to pay attention to that issue, that red flag that you've been ignoring, that you've been sweeping under the rug. It's kind of like the big elephant in the room you're going to have to talk about it. You're going to have to bring it out into the open. Something might fall apart. Something might crumble, whether it's a breakup, you leaving a job, a job leaving you, you moving places, whatever this is, something crumb is going to crumble. Why? Because it was never initially set on a firm foundation. How are you going to try to build this huge building on a shaky ground? No, it's going to fall apart. It's going to crumble right? So what this thing is, don't panic, take a step back and see this tower moment, this shocking surprise from a different light, because there's a blessing in disguise. Look at that. You have your wish fulfillment. The only way that you can get your wishes granted is if and when that tower moment happens. So don't, you know, try to control the outcome, try to avoid that tower from happening. Let it happen. Take a step back, see the situation from a different light because there's a sacrifice here that you need to make in order for you to realize what is it that I need to do in order to see my blessings come in, to get my wish, my wish granted, my wishes granted, you're going to have to take a new approach. Okay. And that's going to require for you to do something that is very difficult for you to do, but inside, you know, that that's the only way forward. Okay. I'm also seeing here that again, with the Knight of cups, you're going to get everything that you've ever wanted. Wish fulfillment, whether it's in love, career, finances, or everything. Okay. It could be also be in family. Let's go ahead and now clarify fertility and the Knight of swords. What is this here for you? Fertility and the Knight of swords. So you have here, the hermit, the six of, um, wands and the 10 of wands, as well as the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck. No, actually, it's the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the Queen of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, so there's a situation where for some people, for some for a group of you, there is a person here who is emotionally trying to manipulate you or they're becoming very emotionally manipulative. Okay, now for others, there is an energy here where this emotional manipulator or manipulative energy person group of people, whether it's career related, love related, family related, friend, whatever this is. Okay. Um, they either want to push your buttons in order for you to say something to react. Don't react. Okay. They're trying to, that's exactly what they want you to do. They want you to mess up. Okay. But you take a step back and you be that feminine energy smile. If this person tries to trigger you, use your feminine energy. Think to yourself, what would a feminine energy do? Okay. Uh, for others of you, there's this energy here where somebody here is emotionally blocked off, not opening up their heart, not opening up you know, uh, to love or to new ideas or to new people because they've, again, emotionally blocked off their energy. But sooner or later, somebody here is going to get triggered because you cannot hold on to all those emotions, thoughts for too long before they come out. They've got to come out 
somehow, some way, because the body always keeps track. So somebody here might get triggered. If this is you, try to start opening up your heart, your heart chakra, because you don't want to hold on to any resentment, you know, any unspoken words, right, for too long, because then that's when you get triggered and you lash out. For others, it might be this person that has been blocked off emotionally, and then finally, they lash out to you. They come across as very mean, right? They might say something very mean, that kind of thing. If this already happened, Again, what would the feminine energy do? Okay. For others of you, picture yourself walking through a beautiful garden, masculine energy, feminine energy, right? The masculine energy just wants to get from point A to point B. Okay, we've already seen those flowers. Let's just go have lunch now. The feminine energy is like, oh no, but I just saw this beautiful rose. You know, oh my God, you know, let me take a picture with it. Let me smell the flowers. The feminine energy takes her time, right? The masculine energy doesn't. I feel like there's two energies like that in this situation. Okay, let me know what that's all about in the comments below because I feel it very strongly. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get some deeper clarifications. All right. So you have your confused. Okay. So somebody here is feeling very confused. This could be you or somebody around you. It says here, confused. I don't know whether I want to be just friends or lovers. Am I really ready for a relationship? If this is you, you might be the one feeling confused. I recently did uh, say that, okay, in your challenge position. Somebody here might not be all that sure if they're ready for a commitment. If this is not relationship or love related, somebody here is not sure if they want to dive into something more serious, whether it's in a business, if they've got the finances, if they um, can trust, you know, the process, right? Are they ready for a full-on business? Are they ready for a full-on investment? Or if this is family related, right? They're not sure if, you know, to really commit to something, okay for others of course if this is love then again this person doesn't know whether they want to be just friends or lovers are they ready for a relationship let's let that noise go by for a lot of you guys that's confirmation so for a lot of you that's that's what's going on somebody here doesn't know if they're ready for a commitment a relationship a marriage or if they just want to keep things lighthearted. okay um, let me know if this is you or somebody around you. Okay, confused. Somebody here is overthinking this. Let's go ahead and tune into your um, current. Oh, wait, we still got to clarify these. So the hermit, the um, six of wands and the 10 of wands. So this indicates here with your dominant energy being fertility, okay, that there is some kind of an energy where Either somebody needs to go into isolation, okay, or is going into isolation in order to find out, figure out if this is really what they want. Do they really want a real commitment or do they just want something more lighthearted, a friendship? Do you really want to dive into a career or do you, would you rather just work on your projects, right? Are you willing to invest into something or someone, whether it's family related, love, career, or not, right? In order for you to figure that out, the hermit is here indicating that you need to do some introspection, right? Do some, you know, inner search within your emotions to ask yourself those bigger questions about life. What is it that you want? What is it that you don't want in order to find clarity? For others, you are dealing with an individual here who might be going into silence, introspection in order to figure themselves out because they're not sure what they want to do with the situation. Let me know if this is career related, love, whatever this is. Okay. I'm seeing your success. If this is you, if you take the time to tune into yourself, to go into isolation, introspection, you're going to come out a wiser person and you're going to go for what you want. You're going to succeed. You're going to get the appreciation, the accolades, but that's also going to require you to disconnect from people, situations, you know, environments that are draining your energy. Because a lot of times the reason why you feel confused is because people or situations that are not benefiting you are draining your energy. Excuse the noise again. They're draining your energy and they're kind of diverting your attention from where you really want to focus your attention. Like, let's say, for example, you're in a, um, you know, a job that you really 
don't like or you know you feel drained from it and you really want to invest in a relationship whether it's a friendship with your family with your loved one you know whatever that is but because that job is so draining to you you're not able to give it the attention that it needs and so therefore it's crumbling it's falling apart and then you're thinking oh well then that relationship isn't working right maybe that's not for me when in reality the real problem is your job that is draining you right it could be the other way around maybe you want to focus on a project on a passion right you want to go for something that you really believe in but your circumstances whether it's in your family dynamic in a relationship in a friendship they're causing so much chaos to you that you're not able to focus your positive energies and attention on that project on that idea on that career right Take it as a resonance. It could be the other way around in any area of your life. But this is indicating that you need to figure out, you know, what the problem really is, because you might be thinking that the problem is the one that's actually not the problem. It's the solution. Okay, one or the other. So let me know in the comments below how this resonates with you, what that is all about. Let's go ahead and look deeper into this. What is the situation pertaining to? So here you have stressed. I mean, I literally cannot make this stuff up, okay? Of course, this could be what I just said. It could be another person feeling this way, right? They might be saying, well, you know what? This is not working between us. I'm not able to invest in this project business career or relationship because i'm not ready for it when in reality it's not that they're not ready for it it's that there's another area of their life that is draining them okay again take it as a rise it could be you experiencing this or somebody around you but somebody right now is feeling very stressed right for a lot of you guys it's an idea that is stressing you out for others, it could be any other area of your life. I am emotionally drained to the point where I am beginning to shut down. Somebody here, okay, is beginning to shut down because they're emotionally stressed, okay? Whether the job is causing a lot of stress, the career, the family, the relationship, okay? And they're blaming that one solution that, or the, pro, the pro, they're blaming the solution for the problem when it's the other way around. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. But we're going to be going deeper into the extended reading to see who this person is, more so about their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from spirits. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to that down in the description box below. And also quick reminder um, support the channel okay it really encourages me to keep posting on here and it encourages the YouTube algorithm because again you guys commenting down below liking subscribing hitting that notification bell okay it really helps YouTube to show these videos to not only you but other people if you don't like if you don't subscribe if you don't comment down below then YouTube won't show them okay so I encourage you Please, if you would like me to keep posting on this channel, if you feel that my readings are helping you in some kind of way, let me know in the comments below. A simple emoji will do. And again, like, subscribe, okay? And um, if you have already subscribed to the channel, I just have to remind you guys, double check if YouTube unsubscribed you or kept you subscribed because a lot of people have been saying, that YouTube has just automatically unsubscribed them for no reason at all. So thank you so much. Let me know in the comments below also about that uh, for your support and uh, take very good care of yourself. And until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only ten dollars and an additional three minutes for free i'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source but you can choose any psychic of your choice you can choose to either talk to them online or call them make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout 
The link to my Psychic Source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.